I think that is my value, really. I think that is why I'm putting myself at the front of this, because I would hope that everybody who's heard my story will know that I can be trusted. Is it still going on, Maggie? It is absolutely still going on. I was walking that's what I did when Norman died, and that's what I did when I lost Macy. I put all those feelings and all that pain into a box in my head, because I couldn't change it. I spent all those years um, not only bringing up my own kids, but you know, training as a police officer, promising to uphold the law and to, to do all the things that you swear in your oath of attestation. That is exactly what was not being done. There's lots and lots of women in our society struggling to put one foot in front of the other um, to, to be able to rebuild their lives. I think the, the key is to try and take that pain that we all feel and turn it into something positive. The girls that I have met have led me to know that there is a real need for a place for those girls to go. We thought when those guys went to prison that that might be the end of the story, that there was a little bit of closure for the country. That is very far from what you believe to be the truth. Very much. I actually was too. I was used. But I did have a voice. He gave us vodka. The system is very, um, I, I, you know, it's not the justice system, it's the injustice system. They'll, they'll use one of the women who was, who was kind of used to draw women in. So she was controlled and she was used to draw women in. She was a victim as well. They wanted to, they put her on the indictment. That was wrong. She should not, have, that, that was an outrage after she assisted the police inquiry. And at the beginning of that journey, I was just being told by everybody, come, come to work, put your bum on a seat and basically shut up. And I couldn't, but had I done that, we wouldn't be where we are today. So every journey starts with one step and this is the next step.